Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm just going to show you how to use the game DVR to record your gameplay in Windows 10. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up the Xbox app, which you can do really quickly by hitting the uh, Windows key or going to the Start menu and typing in Xbox and you'll see uh, the Xbox app right here. If you don't have it, you can get it from the uh, Windows App Store by searching for Xbox and finding the one by Microsoft Corporation. You may even see the beta version and you can install that if you'd like. Uh, once you do have the app open, you just want to go onto this left hand menu to the settings and then go to the tab for Game DVR. Now in Game DVR, you can turn this on or off. Um, by default, it's probably off. You can turn this on and see all the keyboard shortcuts available for the program. Uh, you can open Game Bar by using Windows G, or the Windows key G. And I believe you can also use an Xbox controller or um, third-party controllers. You can use that center home button to uh, open up the game bar and control the game bar as well. And then you'll also have other features here, like to start and stop recording, you'll use Windows Alt R. You can also add your own custom shortcuts for these if you have um, peripherals or other buttons you'd like to use instead. You can also enable background recording. Background recording um, will basically always record your screen um, the last uh, say 30 seconds, minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes of your gameplay and whenever you actually hit um, the button for record that it will save your last um, minute of gameplay or whatever you set that to. Uh, that's great for when you just want to play games all the time and um, when something cool happens that's when you want to um, go back and record what just happened uh, versus doing a manual recording where you would actually say, all right, I'm going to hit record now, and then I'm going to go out and do something cool and then stop recording after. Uh, so this is kind of a cool feature, but it will affect your performance, just like recording your screen well uh, manually. Uh, so make sure that you um, adjust your game performance or your game's graphic settings accordingly uh, so that it runs smoothly. Um, I leave this off. You can also choose the recording time of your game clips so that when you manually start recording, it can um, save the clip after 30 minutes, an hour, or two hours. Of course, you can also manually, manually stop recording um, whenever you'd like. Uh, you can also open the folder that captures are saved in. This is where your screenshots and where your videos are saved. You can choose your audio quality um, for your system and game recording anywhere from 96 kilobits per second to 192 kilobits per second. I, I just choose the maximum here because most modern sound cards can handle that. Um, you also can choose to record your microphone next time you record. So if we turn this on, we get a little volume mixer. And my settings, I like to leave the microphone all the way up and then the system volume, which is your game's volume, at about 50%. And this makes it so that um, if there's explosions and crazy stuff happening in your game, your audience can still hear your, um, your commentary. And then you can choose your video quality for your encoding. Your standard and high uh, quality encodings are going to be in, um, in basically uh, 30 frames a second, excuse me. And uh, it's going to be your encoding quality in terms of megabits per second. So your lowest encoding quality uh, for standard would probably be like 4.5 or so. Um, the high quality is at, uh, between like 8, 9, or 10 or so, and I'll put the official numbers up here because I don't remember them exactly. And then um, 60 frames a second is the only one that changes from 30 to 60, obviously, and that's at about 20 megabits per second in terms of quality. Uh, so depending on what your computer or your graphics card can handle, that's what you're going to choose here. And then for video resolution, we have two qualities here. We have standard and we have high. Uh, standard is basically 720p and high is 1080p. So I'm not sure why they didn't use those terms here. It would have been a little easier to recognize, but they literally just translate to 720p and um, HD 1080p. So that's about all there is for uh, the game DVR. Once it's on, all you have to do is activate whatever you'd like to use, and it saves all of your recordings in your captures folder. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Peace.